نسلم لكم ونسلم لكل من إياه تسقوينا أونلاين نحسب طيب وشيرة لنبدأ بشنيت اللي الليجة أوروبية كونترا لسلابس معروفة بحالة دفنيز لو سارت أوفيتيالي اللوم Preċizament, t-minja u sebejn xar għara l-assassinju ta' Daphne Karwana Galizja. Hazbu li meta għatluwa ser isiktuwa għal dejjem. Kem għarralum għansi il-legat taħħa għeti kompli jifro jixxi u jigber. Min mindu kontawn jien għaw fuq, ġifiri xarajn ilu, għanna zewġ prezidenti ġodda ta' Republika. Wahda prezident ta' Republika. Innu ta' Mirjem Spiteri de Bono u l-uħra il-prezident ta' Republika. Il-professur Vikijan Kremona. Naħseb kull ħat jaqbel miħej li dawn iz-zewġ nisa majdruċ mal-lewza. Taza on fommom. O wekkan du ikum. Aċx dini jal problema ta' pajizna. Li memx bizzejjet niz li bħalom jajdu l-affarijt kif inuma. Hlif meta tol ot lilom. Imma nejt jien xem iktar personali milli joqtlu wahda minna talli informatni dwari dritt tijej li nkun naf li l-min tajt il-fiduċja tijej biex jikvernani min flok et jisraqni. Xem iktar personali min jisra il-futur ta' ulidi. U ċar li kif għalet il-prezident ta' Malta fjum il-ġurament tal-ħatra taħħa għadna mabdej nix nindirizzaw il-qtil ta' Daphne Karwana Galizja. Sit sninu nofs għara l-assassinju taħħa. U għabbel ma kulħat jaqbel li l-qtil ta' Daphne muġ qtil kualunkwe, imma assassinju maħsub biex jisikket lila u lilna l-koll muġ se nimxu l-qudim bħala nazjon. Għalkem ma kienic l-awwel darba li Mirjem Spiteri de Bono t-kelmet dwar Daphne, fil-fat kiena t-kelmet dwar l-assassinju taħħa fi t-minja ta' settembru 2020, preċizament minawnek, il-diskors taħħa bħala l-ħdax il-prezident ta' Republika u t-tilet mara, ħalla impat gbir, speċjalment fuqna l-koll illi inna tant nistennew li jikonna prezident li t-rikonoxi li defni in-qatlet min ħabba il-xol investigattif taħħa. U li jembżon li il-ġurnalisti jiġu imħarsa fil-qadi ta' dmirijitu. Kif ilna nejdu f-kull protesta li għaminna f-kull xar ta' kull sena min mindu n-qatlet defni karwana Galizja f-ottubru tal-2017 u korrottu kriminali li l-avukat ġenerali u l-kummissarju tal-pulutsija marres uċ nis b-poter politiku u wakkużawon brejati flagranti u ampjament i-pruvati. Il-qorti azzattament sitti milu għamlet riferenzi impliciti u espliciti għarrejati marrufa ta' kiet xkembri. L-impunita għatlet l-defni dan u kolloġ dokumentat fl-inkjesta publika li jissa ila l-esta tlet snin. Dik l-impunita għada em u għadom igawdu minna il-ħbib ta' Joseph Muskat. Il-kriminal u ustess. Il-kriminali mafjuzi għadom mumix il-konfrontati bxi forma ta' konsegwenza għala ġir kriminali u mafjuz taħħum. U ta' dan u responsabli Viktoria Butiġiċ u Angelo Gafa. 
mandanti tal-impunità, inkapaċi u komplici daqs il-predeċessuri immedjati taħħum. u jekk tridu għamlunna li bel. Li ju pozittif u li deċizjoni tal-imħalli Florence Mintoff tikkonferma li min kejja l-ezempju tal-biza tal-nis flola livelli tal-pulizija u tal-gvern għatanna uffiċjali ta' kuxjenza li jamlu xolom b-serjeta, professjonilta u minaj maj ħarsu lejn wind wiċħat. U ta' dan ħaqqom ta' u ta' għatina. Inselmu għalek untennu la' prezza mentana għaxxol ta' kiet għarno. Ta' jeb li nfaħru l-min fuq kollox u għad-dover tijow jow taħħa jamlu d-mirijietom bħala uffiċjali publiċi dan uwa mistenni minnu. Mux kul ħat uwa mistenni, pero li jiservi ruoli publiċi u vizibli, anzi, il-biċċa l-bira taħna maħniċ imsejħa biex inkunu fxi kariga izda li gbar kariga li jista jkollna aħna l-koll ija ta' ċittadini responsabli, li nuru l-minimeċxina li maħniċ l-esti biex naċċetta u kollox. U dan namluħ bleħinna bil-prezenza taħna pħallum, bil-prezenza taħna fil-postijiet ta' xol. U fuq kollox u iktar importanti fil-prezenza taħna fil-familji taħna fejnem tinsab li gbar responsabilta taħna, li nkunu ta' eżempju għal-ġenerazzjonijiet li jmiss. Aħna prezenti u kifu kol ħafno ħrajn ta' rida tajba, nixti u unduru makum il-familja ta' Daphne Karmanganizja, speċalment Mr. Vella, li jieta u prezenti. Waqt li nfakru lil Mrs. Rose Vella. Nixti u unduru makom f-tannija ta' solidarieta u ta' poċ għal dak li għettamlu biex isseħ il-ġustizja. Aħna dejjem nimxu makom u dejjem nimxu wara l-ezempju takom. U għalek, ma nibżaw xnejdu dejjem il-verita ikun xikun il-prez. Il-verita kif nejxuwa u kif narfuwa. Min ma jriċ jisma l-verita jiet li aħna negattivi, divizivi, xewwixa. Imma l-verita ma timbidilx. Ija wahda u flaħar tirbaħ. Aġdafni kella raġun. Aċ mux min jiet l-verita jitradixi imma min joħloq kultura ta omerta li s-sikket din il-verita. Sanaddi għal-lewel kellima tal-lejla li ja Dr. Martina Farruġa, avukat u attivista ta' Occupy Justice. Jaw kifu hofni dilla pokit rokit. Jina smajt il-diskors tal-president il-ġdid, Dr. Miriam Spiteri Dabono. Insellimla tal-il-flow il-diskors taħa, insistit li għat fada li sir ħafna xol fil-kawza ta' Daphne Karwana Galizja, sabbix jidju implementati rakkomendazzjoni jie tal-inkjesta publika. Kine min għal good soundbite, tipo bejn il-klemu l-fatti jiem baħarx tikkumbatti, 
dan huwa minnu tas-sew u żmien għad jagħtina l-fajrir. Imma fl-opinjoni tiegħi huwa ta' valur kbir għal pajjiżna li l-kap tal-istat tgħid kliem bħal dan. Għalija huwa ta' valur kbir fl-isfond tal-istorja riċenti tagħna li l-President ta' pajjiż demokratiku tgħid b'mod kategoriku li l-assassinju ta' ġurnalista Daphne Caruana Galizia huwa ferita miftuħa fl-istorja ta' pajjiżna. Aħna din ilna ngħidua, imma forsi s-sip min jgħid li aħna fissati li għu ovju li l-familja ta' Daphne Caruana Galizia se jgħidu ek, imma li l-president ta' pajjiz ta' jtek u għatta so imprezzabli. Għalfej, għalix l-vuċi ta' president ta' ftasa l-iktar min tana u forsi, forsi, taf tiftaħ l-imħuħ ta' min għamel dawn laħar sit snin u nofs isi b-skuzi għalfejn il-qtil ta' ġurnalista mandux jokkupa daq seksbatju fil-diskors publiku ta' pajizna. Il-president ma waq fitxaw komplit billi t-indritza l-importanza ta' d-dritt ta' protesta pacifika. Għalet li l-protesta ija parti min demokrazija b-saħħita, mot baziku u essenziali kif il-poplu jisemmi lehnu u sovranita tijaw. Għandi nejt li naqbel. Etni nota kif dawn laħar xuret jisiru iktar u iktar protesti għaw Malta. Nuhu gos narom mux għaxin hop il-protesti, imma għaxi fisser li bil-mot il-mot il-soċieta ċivili f'dan il-pajjiz et um fuq saħaja u flaħar indunat li għanda vuċi u vuċi b-saħħita. F'dawn laħart min xur rajna, per eżempju, l-familja ta' ġan Paul Sofia jiprotestaw u bijom għaqdu poplu sħi għalwa rajom bix il-gvern kellu jirġaj mur l-ura, kellu jibidde l-femtu u kellu jordna nkjesta publika. Rajna l-litta taksiz jiprotestaw kontra l-kondizjonijiet ta' xol. Rajna l-bdiwa jiprotestaw dwar liġijiet mill-Europa li se jiefetua għalom l-operat. Rajna l-mostin fil-imkien ma' l-NGOs jiproteġu s-sijar fil-pjazza u ġelu bidla fil-pjanijiet. Et naraw il-komunita ġowa l-belt protesta kontra l-takeovers tal-postijiet publici min l-mwejje ta' ristoranti u l-bars. L-istess il-melliħa. Naraw l-Arnold Kassola bil-pagna tijaw fuq Facebook bil-before u after Arnold Mons li literalment wahdu et iġel l-gvern jitċaqla fuq proġetti li jilom jizdingaw u jilom imwahlin al-snin. Id-dritu l-ezistenza tal-protesta paċifika u għas-simbolu tal-demokrazija bħajja demokrazija ħajja u b-saħħita. Imma u għaprova u koll li jinnis et jidġbaw bl-status quo ta' pajizna u iktar minnek et jidġbaw mill-attitudini tal-gvern. Għax li kiku l-gvern kienet jammel xolu kif suppost, konna nipqaw komdi fuq s-sufan, mux nħorġu nipprotesta u xekk. F-demokrazija ċivilizzata l-gvern mux bis għandu jittollera il-protesti, imma rrit jati kasso u rrit jindirizza l-offol ta' xieċetinat. U r-ruol ta' gvern li jaqdi dmiru fl-interess tal-publiku u mux fl-interess tal-ftijt. Meta jikollu kin nis fit-toro jiprotesta u speċjalment nis li mux s-soltu t-litarom, dawn edin jajdu lek xaħġa. Ximkien sejjer zmerċ. Il-gvern jittella minnis u jittnizzel minnis u għat li għa minnu li il-gvern għandu maġoranza b-saħħita dawn il-protesti u ma' indikazzjoni li il-fiduċja għet t-tmermeru koll. U ma' tati jom x-tort. Il-fat li jilna sit snin u nofs nil-taqaw kull xar nil-protesta u kontra l-qtil ta' Daphne u għaprova tal-fat li iva kif għalet il-president il-feruta għada miftuħa. Għal-fejdan ġow arrestati diversi personi in konnessjoni mal-qtil ta' Daphne Caruana Galizia su post inkunu ferħanile? Le, għalli xuwa ovju li jem ħafna ektar li għandu jisir. 
Il-ġima l-ohra Jorgen Fenek tile fil-kawza tijew biex jinneħi l-superintendent kiet għarno mill-investigazzjoni tijew dwar il-tijl ta' Daphne Karwana Galizja. Taf xħarġet min dik s-sentenza? Ċan fira enormi fej l-orti ma setaċ tifem kif kiet xkembri għadu jidġri ma saħajn. Kiet xkembri s-sema 5-19 il-darba f dik s-sentenza. Il-qorti deskrivit il-konflitt ta' interess ta' kiċ kembri pala situazzjoni ta' l-biki. Dan għalix, dan kollu li kienet jidġi relatat b-mot uffiċjali u konfidenziali waqt il-briefings flow PM, kienet jinkixef jow jidġi li kjat blaktar mod vilja kuzleali sal-punt li laħwa del Giorgio u Vince Muscat kienu jafu min għabel li kienu ser jidġu arrestati fil-potato xed il-marsa. Il-prezz tal-korruzzjoni għassa li t-tibat lil-pulizzija lil-membri tal-forza armati ġowa nassa fej n-nis akkużati li poġow bomba fil-karozza ta' ġornalista u splodowa metri l-bot min-dara ikunu jafu u għet jistennu lil-pulizzija jidju jidġbruħum. Proseta, dak rispet għal-min jirriskja ħajtu għal-pajjiz. Dik s-sentenza tal-prima ula tal-orti kostituzjonali fija 155 pagina u fijom xtaq raw. Għalix, għara sit snin, tibda t-nsaftit. Jintkom tiftakru li l-ex-kummissarju Lorenz Kutajjar kien mar jitkelle ma edwin il-ġoja il-parrinu ta' Melvin Toma li kien il-middleman u għadu jissima u r-recordings flim kien għabell il-pulizija kienu deċiddu dwar il-proklama ta' Toma Taċ kienu ħbib, hej, imaġina tkun pulizija fil-korp ta' Malta u jikollok persuna pala Lorenz Kutajjar jidde riġi l-affarjiet u jipperikola l-investigazzjoni b'dan il-mot. Uċ ġarħalu, irtira, iva, imbaħt, sar konsulent għal-ġihna, għarra neħolu l-kontrat, ok, u imbaħt, xie. Il-konkluzjoni logika tal-orti kienet li kienem bizzijiet provi dwar min kien responsabli għal-liks biex jitressu akkużati b'dawn il-reati. Il-orti għal min mafem xettaj tal-kiċ kembri għal Lorenz Kutajjar. Dil-ġima għad-Daphne Foundation ħarġu bstarija fejn appellaw l-pulizija biex jifitxu minnu fiħ l-kiċ kembri għal Walti għaw fil-zvelar ta' State Secrets għax il-preskrizzjoni kienet setiskadi dal-wakt. Dan iffisser li ma jibqax possibli li xkembri jiġi akkużat, jiġi time board. Jekk n-nis ħaj kollom fiduċa fil-korp tal-pulizija, em bżon li l-korp kun jista jamel xolu min arbiza. Fis-sentenza taħħa l-qorti semmit l-obligu tal-istat li jamel investigazzjoni effettiva li t-wassal biex il-fatti relevanti tal-kas jiġu stabiliti u jiġu u kol identifikati u kastigati dawk responsabli. A prompt response by the authorities is essential in maintaining public confidence in their adherence to the rule of law and in preventing any appearance of collusion in or tolerance of unlawful acts. Finno għas diki għal konkluzjoni ċara u tonda, li kiċ kembri għadu persuna protetta, li minkeja li madux il-chief of staff tal-priministru għadu et jidġbet il-ħabel ta' minn irritiħu d-deċizjonijiet. Kun danna iktar psaħħita minn din il-sentenza mux senaraw, allura, xiet nistenno it-tra ta' autorizzazzjoni minn għant kiċ kembri stess? Il-sentenza konkludit li kiċ arno kina għamel xolu sum, kellu lajnuna u support ta' task force imħejija posta. Izda l-qorti għarfet li kienem problemi istituzjonali li t-dajfu l-proċess tal-ġustizja. Per eżempju, l-qorti kritikat intħil eċċessif mil-politikanti fil-rigward tal-lotja ta' proklama. Spiegat kif misso mikunu għembis nis tekniċi jiddeċidu dawn l-affarijiet. Għanda raġun, tini għa problema li naraw ta' spis għanna kultura marida fej kulħat idur fuq il-ministru. Trit il-sibxol, ċempele chief of staff jow il-ministeru. Trit liċenzja tal-karotza u mattaf xissu, ċempele il-ministru u jirranġalek. Trit tiħu benefici soċjali 
ajt li għandek simptomi li mu mux compatible with life, tibza xie għat jifirma għalek, ġas kem tajt li l-membri parlamentarju u jaqdik ta. Lesti namlu kollox għal-vot u jek mux għal-vot għal-flus. Kem li fil-hus nisim għu stejjerek? Et naraw sentenza, għara sentenza ta' dawn il-qrati, fej eti sibu l-istat, mux eti għadġixi kif suppost. Ju et jon qos fil-doveri tijaw, ju et jikser id-dritti jitta ħattiħor. Ridu nirelezzaw li l-prez ta' reba finalment et ta' għafu uċittadini maltin. Min taħseb li ħaj bati li ktar bil-frodi ta' vitals, dawk l-erba mit miljuni li suppost marru fil-investiment fil-sbtarijiet ta'na. Min taħseb li ħaj bati. Tleġġi ma tijlu kine mukoll l-sentenza dwar il-National Bank. Ser ta' proprieta privata, bank privat, mill-istat, li dame ta' liktar min erbajn sena bix tiġi rezolta u għat irrit isir laħpel minnu ta'. Asser sfaċċat li ġin juara ta' l-daq stand zmin, min taħseb li ħaj ħallas il-mit miljun euro fu għon fil-kompens li ġi akkordat mill-qorti. L-istess jistajina ta' l-mijiet ta' sentenzi li jieti sibu ksur ta' drittijiet fundamentali. Ma ni ta' l-mu għat u għet nizol u finni xefawnek. Il-korruzzjoni għanda prez u lo la prez ħal situ l-ġurnalista Daphne Karwana Galizja. Om, mara, oħt, habiba, mara maħbuba. Għalix kull ħatirit jaqla li raħej. Għanna responsabilta li ma nipqawx naċċettaw dan l-atteġiman tal-gvern jisu xej mu xej. Dan u għal-prez tal-korruzzjoni. Bil-mot il-mot il-valuri morali tal-soċjeta jiddizintegraw. Nis l-esti xaħmu, nis l-esti ħarsu naħa l-oħra, kul ħata r-rasu l-aqwa li li jien għada u, u min jitkelle misir jow traditur ta' poplu, jow jidġimajar miġnu. Le, għalija, dawn il-protesti u ma sinjal li fadal kuxienza soċjali f-pajizna. U ma sinjal li għat fadal nis li għapu jarfu t-tajjeb mil-ħazin. Li u ma l-esti għamlu xeħħġa dwarra. There is no person as weak as he who forgets his own power. Ina għadu għal dak li t-ħossu għa sowa u t-aslu zgur. Grazzi. Grazie Martini. Issa naddu al-kellim Barani ismu Colm Regan. Colm has been living and working in Gozo, Malta, teaching, writing and publishing. In recent years, Colm was a member of the Executive Committee of the Euro-Mediterranean Human Rights Network and chairperson of its Human Rights Education Working Group. Colm has published widely and is co-editor of the International Development and Human Rights Resource 8020 Development in an Unequal World, now in its eighth edition. Colm is currently a visiting lecturer at the Center for the Study and Practice of Conflict Resolution, University of Malta, and is also a regular columnist with the Times of Malta. Good evening. It's an honor and a privilege for me to join you this evening. Daphne Caruana Galizia, a name that resonates and echoes across all sectors of Maltese society, a name that will now forever be a part of Maltese history, a name and a story that captures the negative essence of Maltese politics in recent times. Daphne Caruana, a name that has come to represent so much more than simply a name. It has become a national symbol that personifies and helps animate the campaign for justice, accountability and truth in Malta. That campaign is inevitably uniquely Maltese, with its own specific history, its culture, and its characteristics. But it is also an international campaign. 
even a universal one. The struggle to hold the powerful, the corrupt, and the criminal to account. The campaign is not simply to demand the rule of law and accountability, but to defend and nurture the culture and practice of democracy in the face of our dominant kleptocracy, kleptocracy and fledgling autocracy. This struggle, for it can only be described as a struggle, is one of the most important and vital projects in which each and every one of us could and should be involved. It is as fundamental to Malta's future well-being as it is to other countries and regions and indeed the planet upon which we depend. In that sense, the struggle here in Malta is at the very center of a much bigger agenda, regionally and internationally. And it is a struggle that our grandchildren have the right to interrogate us on. What did we do? What are we doing? Do we shrug and look away? Stay silent, pleading powerlessness? Or do we engage to the best of our abilities and our opportunities? My four grandchildren, Dylan, Ruby, Donny, and Maud, have the right to ask those questions of me. I hope they will not find my answers wanting. When I think of Daphne and her continuing story, as well as the immediate challenges we are confronted by, a number of key words and key ideas suggest themselves that we do well to remember, internalize, and nurture. The four I have chosen, others would choose different ones, fortitude, fortitude, or courage in adversity, resilience, or necessary toughness. This is a struggle. Determination or firmness of purpose. And of course, recognizing the centrality of struggle. I come from Ireland. We have had a long history of struggle. Those characteristics are those that I have learned and so many of us have learned are fundamental and basic to victory, to success. In a different context last Saturday, I said, I travel not in hope, but in expectation. As you can tell, by birth, I am not of this land. But this land is now a part of me, a part of my own recent DNA. Its stories are now my stories. They are my children's stories, and they are my grandchildren's stories. Although I never met Daphne Caruana Galizia, I feel I know her. I know her not simply for what she wrote or did. I know her more for what she represents. She is part of the long, long story of truth and justice everywhere. In many important ways, 
her work and that of those who pursue the same agenda today here in Malta is part of this country's invaluable contribution to that broader universal journey of human rights. As in so many other situations and places worldwide, the economic and politically powerful will continue to try to sideline and silence us, as they so murderously did with Daphne. But as history, geography, culture clearly show, they ultimately fail each and every time. Just as they are failing here and now in Malta. Our, our recently elected president has reminded us that Daphne's murder haunts Malta. Her words, haunts Malta, as do the deaths and killings of many others. Lasan Assise, Jean Paul Sophia, Miriam Pace. For me, they haunt Malta because they represent that dark and ugly Malta that all too often triumphs over the other decent, honest, and brighter Malta. The Malta I like to refer to when writing as the other Malta. This this last weekend, in a very different context, a previous president also reminded us that, and I quote, each and every one of us doesn't need to be declared a human rights defender to stand up for what is right. We are here not only to say and to speak out and to proclaim not just what is wrong, but more importantly, what is right. We need to know and remember the difference in that key definition of justice, those things that are wrong and those things that are right. That must remain, that must remain our core work today to defend this land against those who demean, abuse, undermine, and plunder it. What happens here echoes and ripples beyond these shores. You know that. And what we do will similarly echo and ripple. Without question for me, I have lived here now for 15 years, Malta has the necessary skills, experience, and energy, and vision to fix what has been so badly broken. Future generations will hold us to account for what we did, or more tellingly, what we didn't do. I'd like to finish I'd like to finish by quoting that wonderful American writer and campaigner, Toni Morrison. There is no time for despair, no place for self-pity, no need for silence, no room for fear. We speak we write, we do language. That is how civilizations heal. Thank you.
Nicely done. Thank you. Il-kellima li miss di ġahadet sem fuħdam il-vigil stana tal-ħames anniversarju pero kienet min Londra kienet il-keynote speaker fil-Daphne Festival li sar fil-ħames anniversarju ullum xtaqna li tkun prezenti maħna jisimma Keelin Gallagher okay Keelin it's a little introduction Keelan is an international human rights lawyer and an expert in accountability for crimes against journalists. She has acted for many bereaved families of journalists killed for their work. This includes working alongside Therese Komodini Kakia. There she is. and the Maltese legal team leading the international legal team for Daphne's family. She also acts for many journalists at risk due to her work, including the Nobel Prize winner Maria Ressa in the Philippines and the Jimmy Lai in Hong Kong. Thank you. Thanks so much. Well, we're standing here this evening in the most beautiful of settings uh, with these beautiful honey-coloured limestone buildings in a UNESCO heritage site just moments from the Mediterranean. But we're here to discuss the most ugly of things, the brutal assassination of a journalist for doing her job, for speaking truth to power and for treading on some very sensitive, powerful toes. And make no mistake, today we're marking six and a half years since Daphne was killed for all of those things. Since she was murdered because she was a journalist, because she spoke out and refused to be silenced. Six and a half years, 78 months that we mark today. Now, I never had the privilege of meeting Daphne, but in the last six and a half years, I've got to learn about her from her incredible family many of whom are here this evening. And I've got to know her through her brave investigative reporting, her witty writing, her searing no-nonsense, vital writing, uncovering corruption, putting her head above the parapet when many others did not. She was, as you know, a remarkable, courageous, groundbreaking, brilliant journalist. the first woman to write a political column in Malta, uh, the first to write in her own name, not anonymously, and she broke almost every major story since 1988. And just to cast your mind back to 1988, she was aged only 24 at the time. It's the year when her youngest son, Paul, was born. She was a mother of three very young boys, and at a time when many of us find it difficult to get out of bed in the morning, and to keep food on the table and to keep the show on the road. She was Malta's conscience, doing her brilliant journalism at a time when she was under tremendous personal pressure. And it's also important to remember that she was incredibly prolific. If you look back at her blog, you'll see she produced multiple blogs at all hours of the day and the night. We all got the same 24 hours in a day. I can tell you, Daphne eked out every single minute and every single second and put it to the best possible use. Now we know she was a courageous woman, a brilliant journalist, using her skills to speak truth to power. We know she served the public good, believing in the potential for journalism to build a more just society and to reshape Malta's future. But I also learn about her from reviewing the three decades of threats that she received simply for doing her job and for holding the powerful to account. Arson attacks on her home, attempts to cut off her income, the freezing of her bank accounts, dozens of libel suits brought by the powerful, by ministers, by business people, vile misogynistic attacks online, critics in the street calling her a witch. Many of you will remember that Matthew, her son, testified in 2019 saying, it feels like they're trying to fry me alive. 
because of what she was experiencing, a battle on all fronts. Now, in some ways, what happened in October 2017 on that day was a logical, horrific extension of many other ways the powerful had attempted to silence her for three decades. And it's important to say that to many, what happened in October 2017 was presented as if it was a bolt from the blue, a surprise, a shock, entirely unpredictable. You look at the quotes around the world that greeted that terrible news in October 2017. But in truth, this was not a bolt from the blue. This was not a surprise. This was a predictable, preventable death. And Malta and the world should have seen it coming. And Daphne herself spelled out the risks to her. Ten days before her death, she gave an interview to the Council of Europe describing in detail the threats that she faced. Uh, she said in that interview, they've made me into a national scapegoat, comparing herself to the women persecuted in the 17th century portrayed in Arthur Miller's play, The Crucible. She set out, in her own words, the dangers she was in ten days beforehand, and ten days later, she was brutally assassinated. This was, make no mistake, a preventable death. It followed years of state-sanctioned harassment. It took place in a culture of total impunity. The risks were not only known to the state and ignored, the state fanned the flames of impunity. And of course, the killing also came in a culture of total impunity in relation to the subject matter of much of her reporting rampant corruption. Now that of course was 2017, over six years ago, and many of you will know that in August 2021, the independent public inquiry in Malta, following brilliant work by Therese and her team, published its detailed 437-page report. <laughs> and the report found that the Maltese state must shoulder responsibility for her death. It's a damning report, concluding a culture of impunity was created from the highest echelons of power within the Castile, and singled out for particular criticism, rightly, is former Prime Minister Joseph Muscat. Singled out as identifying, as enabling this culture of impunity, and his entire cabinet was found to be collectively responsible for their inaction in the lead up to the assassination. Again, not a surprise in many ways, because you look back at the words of the family within the first few days and weeks in 2017. Within weeks of the death, Matthew accused the state and Muscat of being complicit in her killing, writing, a culture of impunity has been allowed to flourish by the government in Malta. It's a little comfort for the prime minister of this country to say that he will not rest until the perpetrators are found, when he heads a government that encouraged that same impunity. If the institutions were already working, there would be no assassination to investigate. My brothers and I would still have a mother. And we now know from the report that the public inquiry found that the family was right all along. Essentially, what we have here is the government creating a favorable climate for anyone seeking to eliminate Daphne to do so with a minimum of consequences, giving a green light to attacks upon a journalist for doing their job, for speaking truth to power. Now, I want to turn to what's happened in the six and a half years since. And understandably, we often focus on what hasn't happened, uh, the things which should have happened and didn't. The outrageous foot dragging and delaying, the fact that the trial process has yet to conclude, the fact that the recommendations of the public inquiry so hard fought have yet to be implemented. The radio silence to Republica's call for Keith Skembry and Silvio Valletta to be prosecuted as suspects for leaking sensitive information about the murder investigation. Uh, but I want to focus in my speech on some of the huge amounts of positive things that have happened in the six and a half years since Daphne's death. There have been many hugely powerful achievements 
which you may never have thought possible six and a half years ago. And I just want to highlight three in particular. The first is a flourishing civil society embodied by what we're seeing here this evening. The work of Republica and Occupy Justice has been exceptional. And I want to pay tribute to the absolutely brilliant work of the foundation which now bears Daphne's name. Now we're standing here, of course, beside the Great Siege Monument, used as a makeshift memorial to Daphne. But many of you in the crowd will remember that for months, indeed years, the tributes that were placed at this memorial every single day were removed on a daily basis by government employees. And then in 2020, hugely significant court decision finding that the then Minister for Justice, Owen Benici's orders to repeatedly clear the memorial were a violation of protesters' right to freedom of expression. And this very memorial where we're standing today has become a testament not only to Daphne herself and her incredible, brilliant, vitally important work, but also to the determination of all of you who wish to remember her, to mark her legacy, and most importantly, to secure change. So civil society is the first one. Second, I want to point to is legal progress in Malta. There have been many seismic wins and achievements in the last six and a half years, from that decision about the protest memorial to last week's 155-page damning findings about institutional failures in the murder investigation. And most importantly, the public inquiry itself. I entirely agree with the concerns about the public inquiry recommendations not yet being fully implemented. But the public inquiry itself has fundamentally shifted the dial. It was a huge fight to secure it, a fight no bereaved family should ever have gone through. But it was a fight that they won. Public inquiry was achieved, an innovative process to examine whether Daphne's death was preventable and the wider issues of institutional failures and impunity. And this is now a framework which can be used for justice in other cases and a lasting legacy. So more needs to be done, but a huge amount has been achieved. <laughs> and the third example I want to give is on the international stage, international progress in protecting journalists' rights. Every single day in my work, I see Daphne's legacy. I see it in micro ways in individual cases, and I see it in macro ways the world is changing because of the work that's being done by people like you here in Daphne's name. So in micro ways, in micro ways, in individual cases, every single day, I see how authorities now take far more seriously the online abuse of women journalists. Journalists like my client, Maria Ressa in the Philippines, or Iranian journalists threatened with death by the long arm of the Iranian state threatening to kill them in their homes and in their workplaces in London, in Washington DC, in Paris. Today, in other cases entirely unconnected to Malta, I've seen Daphne's name mentioned by others that I'm in co correspondence with three times. And that's not a surprise because Daphne's legacy means that there is now a vital sense of urgency about journalist safety and protection of journalists which was not there before. So those people who were glib and thought this was a bolt from the blue and unexpected, look at the world through a different light, thanks to the work of people like you in places like this. <laughs> and also, of course, we see Daphne's legacy in macro ways, in the way the rule of law is valued in the Council of Europe in a way which, frankly, I do not think it was before. And even today, with the EU's anti-SLAPP directive, Daphne's law becoming official. A huge achievement. Now, some of you may have heard that quote, most people overestimate what they can do in one year and underestimate what they can do in 10 years, often attributed to Bill Gates, but actually the most probable source is a Stanford computer scientist in the 1960s, Roy Amara. And it's true. Almost universally, we tend to overestimate what can happen in the short term, underestimate what can happen and what we can achieve in the long term. 
So my core message today is that in the short term, it's easy and understandable that people feel hopeless and demotivated and that the road ahead feels difficult and that the tasks ahead feel impossible. But these are huge achievements in the space of six and a half years. We've got to remember change is not linear, a simple line, a trajectory which is always positive and always moving upwards in a simple line. There are peaks and troughs. What has been achieved already is monumental and don't let things like the judgment yesterday put you off. Change is gradual and slow, but it's happening and it's going overall in the right direction. There's much more to do, much, much more to do. We must do it together. We must remember, like Daphne, there's 24 hours in the day. We've got to eke out every single second and use it for good and for change. Now, I want to end just with two quotes from people I admire greatly. It won't surprise you to know that the first of those is Daphne Caruana Galizia herself. It's her own words from a blog on the 5th of June 2017, headed, Right and Wrong is Not a Popularity Contest. And she wrote, I know you don't have to tell me it's the reason I do it, that this website has over the last four years become a gathering post, a rallying point for decent people who feel frightened and threatened at the rise, growth and spread of amorality not by any means the same thing as immorality. I know why you come here, because lots of you tell me, but I knew it instinctively, even before you did. You come here to feel normal in a sea of insanity, where the crowd cheers the Commissioner of Police for failing to take action against a corrupt Cabinet Minister and the Prime Minister's Chief of Staff, where supporters of the party in power celebrate and have their pictures taken on the steps of a bank which launders money for Azerbaijan's ruling elite because it's linked to politicians they support. Where even educated people who've had all the advantages in life vote a corrupt political power party into power for the narrow reason that they're renting out flats to buyers of Maltese citizenship who never set foot in them. So Daphne described her blog being a rallying point, a gathering post, well, now we need to make this a new rallying point and gathering post, a place to feel normal in a sea of insanity, a place to stand up for what is right. And my final quote is from a man from another predominantly Catholic island off the coast of Europe, um, although his name, although Irish, is a little easier to spell and say than mine. Seamus Heaney, the Nobel, Peace, uh, the Nobel Prize winning poet. And in The Cure at Troy, a version of a play by Sophocles, he wrote this. History says, don't hope on this side of the grave, but then once in a lifetime, the longed for tidal wave of justice can rise up and hope and history rhyme. So hope for a great sea change on the far side of revenge. Believe that further shore is reachable from here believe in miracles and cures and healing wells. Now Heaney was speaking about that relationship between history and hope, learning from the past, using it to ensure securing change for the future. And he was highlighting those rare moments once in a lifetime when a long awaited tidal wave of justice emerges. Now he was writing about the Good Friday Agreement and the Northern Irish peace process but his words echo here in this beautiful place, in this gathering post, in this rallying place. Daphne should never have been killed. She should still be here with us, speaking truth to power, writing her brilliant blog, probably 27 entries a day on previous history. It's frankly a disgrace that she was taken from her family, taken from Malta, taken from the world. But tonight I ask us to remember that her death has been a catalyst for huge change in Malta and for journalist safety worldwide. Don't ever forget what you've achieved already. Standing at this rallying point, believe in miracles and cures and healing wells. A further shore is reachable from here. Thank you.
Thank you. That was excellent. Sa o alunurtiai ili nintroduci il President della Repubblica, Professor Vikian Cremona, lo è Presidente della Taha, spicciat per il Feo Shri, voler bastire il JJ, non spero mai io mi riuscisse Trump. Vikian Cremona. Palma għalet Alessandra il-lum kellna aħbar importanti ħafna li set komplit iggarantixi li l-ġurnalizmu u tassew il-raba pilastru tal-poter. Il-lum id-direttiva ekkim sejħa Daphne Zlo ġit aprovata mil-Parlament Ewropew u mil-Kummissjoni Ewropea. Din id-direttiva tiproteġi li l-dawk li jipparteċibaw faffarijiet ta' interes publiku. Specificament tirreferi għal ġurnalisti li investigaw u jikxfu il-kriminalita organizzata, l-abbuz tal-poter, il-korruzzjoni, il-violazzjoni ta' dritti tal-bnidem u l-estremizmu. Tirikonoxi li xolo muwa ta' riskju gbir u tisha li kull ġurnalist għandu jikun jista' jezerċi tal-professjoni tijaw bla biza jew xkiel tal-istat u li l-istat għandu jiproteġjom u jwaqqaf kull tentattif li jisikkitom sija jek jisugġet jikun ta' natura administrativa sija jek jikun ta' natura kriminali id-direttiva ta' mill-lista ta' elementi bix jissalva għwardaw il-libertà tal-ġurnalisti li kull stat għandu jaddotta fostom li jiproteġijom mill-infamja tal-strategic lawsuits against public participation li jahna nafuha bħala slaps. Dini ja vittorja ta' sew importanti għal-ġurnalisti taħna u tal-Europa kolla u ma nistawx ma nirringrazzjawx il-familja ta' Daphne li taħn taħmlu xol siwi biex dini direttiva jissir. Mir-ingrazzjawo min qalbna din l-aħħar turina li aħna maħniex wahedna fil-ġlida s-sewa u għal-ġustizja u li jem qawiet uħra li len min ċtutna li jaqsmu maħna li stess ideali, valuri u virtuiet. Fil-pjazza ta' maġembna u dim l-statwa ta' reġina Vittorja L-artist verament bravu Austin Camilleri poġġa siġu vojt. Ħafna rawdan pħala simbolu ta' tmim tal-kolonjalizmu. Izda uwa ħaf niktar minek. Uwa simbolu ta' kif meta l-autorita ma terfax irresponsabilta tal-poter li ġif dat lila meta siġu li suppost jokkupawħ meċxej onesti li jaħzbu bis fl-interess ta' poplu, jidġi okkupat min dawk li lawelan taħħum u abutom u li juzaw il-poter bix iwetqu l-interessi taħħum. Meta l-poter ġust u onest jidġi mxekkel. U dan kif jidġi mxekkel? Jek parlament ma jiffunzjonax kif għandu jiffunzjona, imma jaqdi biz dak il-partit fil-poter ikun min ikun, irit jara li jaddi, minna ir ebda possibilita ta' kontrollu bilanċi, il-sidġu ta' demokrazija jib avoid. Meta l-esekutif ma jaħdim xa l-interess tal-poplu, imma jaħtih biz il-loqom biex ta' parsi iħat jamel xie ħaġa għalieħ, Waqt li jħalli ser sfaċċat jisir kul jom, jissidġu tal-poter ġust jib avoid. Meta l-pulutsija min flok ta' mer-xola u ti prov di kontrolu bilanċ bemila, tipqa idea marbuta f'dak li għandu xjaqsam mal-forom loħra tal-poter, jissidġu tal-demokrazija jib avoid. Meta l-qrati 
ma jitħallewx jamlu xolom fis-serenita u l-protezzjoni sħiħa meħtiġa imma dawk fil-poter jajruom u jiprovaw idaħlu f-moħ jinnis li l-ġustizja mandix timxi bil-kejl ta' skont minint imma ta' differenza ċara bejn it-tajjeb u l-ħazin il-sidġu tal-poter jibqa vojt. U għalek li jaħna l-esekutif ta' Repubblika il-ġima l-ohra apprezzajna l-kommenti tal-imħallef Lorenz Mintoff li sematum u qratum malta kolla. Kien diskors li kien inna najdu min ftit wara li nqat le d-defni. Inna najdu li trit issir ġustizja, li l-istituzzjonijiet għandom jaġixju fuq il-provi. Inna najdu li anki wara l-qtil ta' d-defni il-qarnita ta' Kastilja komplit ti garantixi l-impunita. Imma mot nitkellmu wahna u mot jihor meta jitkellem imħallef. Għalek mill-lewwel b'dejn azzjoni fil-qorti bix infakru lill-avukat ġenerali Viktorja Butiġieċ u l-kummissarju tal-pulutsija Angelo Gaffa li għandom jamlu d-mirom li għandom irresqu lil-kiċ kembri tal-lita informazzjoni lil-jorgin fenek dwar l-investigazzjoni f'dak li l-lum u akkużat li għamel. Jekk li stat ikompli jala għajneħ għal-kriminali fil-politika, ikompli jgarantixi l-impunita lil-kriminali li jħakmuna. Aħna rridu naraw li s-sidġu tal-poter jifunzjona kif suppost u mux jiġim farrak għaxek jaqbel lil-ftijt. Meta Priministru jiġi għajdinna għara diskors daq sek sabiħ tal-President Mirjam Spiteri de Bono li rraba poter li stampa hilsa li l-lum uwa garanzija ta' pajiz demokratiku għandu jkollu iċeks and balances għallura dani fisser li Roberta Bela għadu ma femx sew xini id-demokrazija. Stampa hilsa jistess ti garantixi dawn il-kontrolli u l-bilanċi jisiru billi takkuza publikament dawk li wetqu il-er u il-ħazen jiġifiri il-korrotti. Il-ġurnalista Daphne Karwana Galizia ġiet maqtula għalix fi zmina kienet l-unika wahda li bil-pinna taħħa i-provat ti konfronta l-poter bil-responsabilta tal-interessi u l-ħtiġiet tal-poplu. Li l-poter ma kienx iħat jerfa biex iħares l-interessi tal-ftijt. Il-lum għanna ġurnalisti uħra li edin jaħmdmu biex jikomplu jimxu f'dan il-tri u jikomplu f'dan il-xol u embzon li aħna nirringrazzjawom imma u kor inħarsu u ninsistu fu il-protezzjoni taħħom. Sur Priministru, intu tħares lejn dak s-sidġu vojt. Aħseb li l-fat li tokku pa s-sidġu tal-poter, ifisser u kol li terfa responsabilta ta' governanza tajba. Anki metadin t-fisser li titwarra b-dawk li edin x-xeklu permets tal-ħazen il-gideb u l-erq taħħom u mux tiġi tajti ċuċati bħal naħfru lil-korrotti jek jitolbu maħfra. Meta dawn ġewelettim il-poplu biex jiservu l-interessi tal-poplu 
و موش بیشی تنز رو تپجی فی سیجو تل پوتر ای فی سر لی تخسب فی البزونیت تل ملتین و اوچین کلا و موش تا اربا پمپالونی لی بوتوم دی جاسا ینفعا بالفلوس محموجا لی کمپلو یکملاو و لی پرتندو لی تقدیلی لوم بس اسکاپی تو تل پیا تل پوپلو لی ستس نیس لی کرخو لی پایزنا و لی املوغ جنگلا تا بینی بلاغوست و لی کل یوم ینفادو الفتید سیتی ناتورالی لی باقانا تپوجی فی سیجو تل پوتر ای فی سرو کل لی تهدم بسریه تا قبیرا بشتامل من لخيار بشت غارانتشي الكنديسيونيت نتساري بش الجوستيزيا السير من اير شكيل وموش تكريتيكا للدوك للجوستيزيا فيرا ادينيا توا من اير ما يحارسو لي ويج حات تبوجي في السيجو تال بوتير في السير للكنكلوزيونيت تال انكيستا بوبليكا تامل هلتك كولا بيش يجو موتقا و موش الدخل راسك في الرمل إيسو دان الشول قات ما سار تبوجي في السيجو تال بوتير في السير لي توري هلتك بحالا بنيدم لي البوتير يافيو زاخ عالبوبلو كلو من اي رازلا يو بريفرنسي و موش تقيات نيس انكمبتنتي في بوزيزيونيت لي طلبو هيلا و كمبتنسا بيش يتمشيو في الانترس تا كل ويهت و واحدة منا يكون من يكون و موش بالبياتيري و بالقادي تبوجي في السيجو تا البوتر في السير ترفع الرسبونسابلتا و تهدم بيش داوك لي أسلو الدسبراتي فوق شتوتنا مش تتفخهم لورا البحر إما تعمل بيانتا انتقراتسيوني عليهم و تتعلم من الزبالي تا بايزي أخرى من فلوك توتا لستز بالي جو بايزيك تبوجي في السجو تا البوتر في السير لي تددي كالي لك النفسك بروهك و بجسمك البايزيك و يكولوك فيزيوني تات فتول عليك و مش واحدة تا حمسنين من الاتسيوني اللوخرا بشانكي ورا لي تسبيتشا انت دين البشانكي ورا لي تسبيتشا انت دين الفيزيوني تستات كومبلي تتوتا و تكاكتر جيت تكاكتر ديهم اكتر جيت المالتين و لاوچين كولا عملك و تكون دين تا داك السجو لي تبوجي فيك إما تريق عادة تسو طويلة وحنا مش سنحلو لا ليلك ولا داوك لي بروفاو يشكلو ليلك وللمال تاتانا فو اتريق تسوى لي وطقو لسكوبية تاخهم احنا اون ادين واون سنقبو بش نراو للبايس يتيب نرينغراتسا للأفوكاتي تانا لي يهدمو علينا بشين سبيتشالمنت للجيسنا تصوبر دي الإياتاو لي تاتانت علينا عدم تانت علينا ونرينغراتسا اكتر واكتر من القلب للروبرتا كولينا الشول سيويتيو لي وتا طول الستوريا تا ريبوبليكا و لي عادو يوتا في هدان ريبوبليكا دوار الكوزي لي عنا و ديم القراتي في الجليدة تانا كونترا الأر و الجوستيزيا باس ورا باس ادين نمشو و ديم في دين الجليدة و الربحي تانا في القراتي 
ימלאונה בצ'רטצה לפלחר אל וריתה תוכרוץ כל לקמי ולג'וסטיציה איסיר. פלאר פרזידנט אלג'דית יינה דטרמינטה לנקומפלי פלימקין מסחה בקולטה לסקוטיף ומקום קולה לשער ורא שער תינא אדומנה ודאוק קולה ליורונה ספורט החום לסנקומפלי נג'ילת הסוע בשנם לו ממלטה ואודש אל פאיס לנשתי אוני שופיך פיין אל קלמה קורוציוני מי קונם לבדה בזון לנפאו נוזאווה Grazie, Vic. Sedna fuq il-lewza li maddur madwar. Prosi. Mela, dawn il-wera rant u amilġlin ta Daphne. Għalix Daphne dejja mmana u nek. Kul sittax ta' xaf. U dawn il-wera rant ġej milġlin ta' xali uwa il-santwarju ta' xali. Dejja mkien il-santwarju ta' xali mil-laffarit kolla li għaddit minnu minn habba l-investigazzjonit ta' xali. U tfakkarni fi kotazzjoni li tellet darba i ma naħsibx li jja originali għalija imma niftakar waqt li kienu għedin jikwa taw ħafna poeti niftakar li kienet tellet somewhere between right and wrong there is a garden and I will meet you there aħna l-ġinintana minni għawnek għalija għallura narawkom fil-sittax ta' meju għawnek grazie għafna u senaslu